Hi everybody, Jared here from ppccampaigngenerator.com. I wanted to make a quick video to address a question I get asked quite frequently about my software, PPC Campaign Generator, which is, why doesn't it have modified broad? First, let me say that we are getting updates to PPC Campaign Generator to include modified broad. But for now, let me show you a few shortcuts you can use to modify broad your keywords. And I'm going to show you that in AdWords Editor, and then I'm going to show you that in Excel. So first, here's AdWords Editor. This is a campaign I generated with PPC Campaign Generator really quick. Um, then I just simply imported it into AdWords Editor. And what I want to show you is the types of keywords I generated are broad and exact. And let's just get started by going up to Advanced Search. And just for those of you that don't understand, Modify Broad it basically takes a plus sign and it puts it in front of every word within the key phrase. And what this does is it says, these words must appear in the user's search query in order to trigger the ad. So it's a way of anchoring the key words or important words within your key phrase. And it helps you weed out irrelevant traffic. So first, I opened up advanced search here. We have three different match types we can sort by. Uncheck phrase, uncheck exact, hit search. Now we only show broad within our view. I have the campaign selected. Now what we want to do is select all, so hit one of the rows and hit control A. Hit control H. You can also bring this screen up by hitting replace text. What we're going to do is replace a space with a space and then a plus sign. Hit find matches, replace, and now we see most of the words have plus signs in front of them. The only words that do not are the beginning. So let's hit control shift H. You can also just hit append text down there. We're going to append a plus sign in front of every word within every keyword. So make sure keyword is selected, hit append text. There we go. We've modified broad all of our keywords. So that means that, for example, beaker me has to appear, these two words have to appear within the user search query in order to trigger the ad that this keyword in that group is in. So what we're going to do now is show you an Excel formula that can help you weed out modify broadening certain words that you don't want to do. These are words like to, uh, do, I, of, as, is, for, the, because what you have to do in AdWords Editor is find those words. So for example, let's say, let's say in, we see the word in, Muppets Animal in Control. Let's just select all, hit Control H, look for the word plus in, just replace it with in. So we're trying to unmodify broad the keywords. And then only look for whole words, hit find matches, it found five of them. So these are the five keywords that contain the word in, and we're going to replace it with just the full word in without a plus sign. And there we go. But you can imagine doing that takes a long time. So instead, let me show you in Excel what you could do. There's a formula we can use. So let's get all the broad. We have our filter still set. Let's hit Control H. We're going to find all plus signs, replace them with a space. Replace all. So now our keywords are broad and they're all back to normal with no plus signs. Let's go into Excel. Just paste your keywords. It didn't paste right. There we go. I'm just going to delete every other column except for the keyword column. And now we have our keywords here. Let me show you a substitute formula in Excel we can use. So now let's go to B2, paste it, make sure it's on A2, and this is our formula. So what this formula does is it looks for words within your keywords, and if it finds it, it substitutes whatever you want to substitute. So for example, we can see this keyword here has the word the in it, and you can see that the result has a plus sign and the. Let's say we, we don't want to put a plus sign in front of the word the. 
The most important words in this phrase are Disney, Muppets, and 2011, let's just say. So what we can do is simply, step one, copy this part from the comma all the way to the end parenthesis, paste it, and now we're going to find the with a plus sign. We're going to replace it with just the the without a plus sign. So that's step one. Step two is write another substitute within the formula. I type in sub and then I hit the tab key on my keyboard and then you just hit enter. And there we go. Now we can drop this formula down. So we can notice that this one has the in the front of the keyword but it still has a plus sign in front of it. The reason is I had an empty space here so if you want to, you can actually just remove it and then remove this one and then now you can see the plus sign is gone. But that will only apply to words with the in the front of the keyword. So if we wanted it in both situations, we would copy this again, paste it, add a plus sign for the whole word, just like that, and then add another substitute. There we go. So now, if we had the Muppets, the 2011, both of them would substitute the plus sign for nothing. And hopefully this makes sense. You can modify it for any words that are irrelevant to modify broad match. So this formula is very flexible. It's easy to use. And I would recommend using it for stop words when you're modifying broadening keywords that may not be that important. Thanks a lot.